What a good boy he is. Well, guys, would you look at that. Puss in Boots, the last wish. We have Puss in Boots. We have Death. We have uh, the three bears. We have the dog and the cat. Oh, the cat. Uh, all right. Uh, includes all new short. Let's go to the back. All right. A new story from the fairy tales of Shrek. Yes, everyone's favorite leech-loving, swashbuckling, fear-defying feline Puss in Boots returns in a new adventure from the Shrek universe as the darling outlaw discovers that his passion for peril and disregard for safety have taken their toll. Puss has burned through eight of his nine lives. Though he has lost count along the way, getting those lives back was in Puss Boots into the Black Forest to find the mystical wishing star on his grandest quest yet. With only one life left, Puss will have to humble himself and ask for help from his former partner and nemesis, Kitty Softpaws. They are joined in their journey by a chatty and cheerful mutt named Peril. Together, our trio of heroes will need to stay one step ahead of the fairy tale realm's craftiest crooks, including the Goldilocks and the Three Bears. <laughs> Man, that was a long. Okay, okay, that was a, that was a real long one. All right, all right. Bonus feature: the all new shorts, the trident, plus a deleted scene, a cast of characters, and much more. All right, the three bears, you know, Puss in Boots and the cat, you know, the dog, you know, the, you know, the stuff. So. Let's go ahead and open this up. You know, take the sleeve off. All right. Okay, let's open. Let's open the case. Okay. All right. And there is the case. Uh, I just move that up. That has that new, <laughs> the new thing smell. All right, so uh, you know, there's the movie. That's the DVD, and then there is the um, Blu-ray. It's something, you know. Okay, well, let me just say. Okay, so yeah, if you're wondering, like, um, yeah, there's just there's no real difference other than like you know the box cover having some texturing. So yeah, before I say, you know, something that I've noticed with a lot of Blu-rays, like. I don't know, like, I guess it's just, like, a standard now, because it seems to me, like, you know, I, you know, I've opened a lot of Blu-rays on this channel that have, like, you know, the Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital code. They're all formatted the same. Of course, you know, they, they're all using the same, um, movies anywhere place to, like, redeem your codes. So I, I, I guess they're all made by the same person, because, like, I've noticed that, like, the Mario movie... This movie, uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, they all have this same kind of, you know, format to their things. And I just noticed that. So, um, yeah. So, uh, other than that, Puss in Boots, um, it is a movie that came out. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't think a lot, obviously, I don't think a lot of people, like, you know, um, were expecting this movie to be as big as it was. I mean, you know, you know, everyone knows who Puss in Boots is, you know, it's the guy from Shrek, even though, you know, he had his own movie, but, you know, when it comes to Puss in Boots, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, most, in, most people just think, uh, you know, of Shrek when they think of him, because, you know, he's in that movie, so, yeah, um, I, you know, so, you know, I, you know, I like Puss in Boots, you know, um, I, I haven't, I don't know if I've ever watched his original movie, you know, I've watched Shrek, you know, I've watched Shrek 2, so, you know, I, I, you know, I've seen that, but I can't actually remember if I've ever watched his original movie. Maybe in elementary, I don't know. <laughs> is it, is it, the movie, the movie came out a long time ago, so I, I, even if I did, I wouldn't really remember, so yeah, um, that's that. So, um... I don't know much about this movie, you know, for, look, like, it's funny, like, it's, it's kind of funny, because, like, this movie has been out for so long, and, like, you know, I've seen it all, I've seen a lot of the stuff, like, I've seen, it's like, I've seen a lot of the stuff from this movie, but it's like, you know, never usually, like, big stuff, it's just Jack, everyone who know, everyone who's know, like, like, for, I'm surprised he's not on the front box. He's like a big antagonist of the movie. I'd say he's like, of course, I, I guess Death is probably more of a bigger antagonist. But I mean, I mean Jack. You know, everyone's talking about Jack. You know, he, he's not a good person. He's, you know, what a monster, everybody. You know, you know, everyone. You know that meme. You know, 
everyone was talking about. So I'm just a very it's it's so surprising to me to just see him not be on the box and like like you know just like death and like you know the animation and Jack were like the biggest talking points of this movie. But other than that, you know, I haven't actually ever seen the end of this movie, so I'm happy about that. You know, it's it's because it, as I said, like um. Like, I brought this thing along, like, like, I, I brought this thing so long ago, like, I don't know exactly how long ago I brought this movie, but, like, I can say at the very least, I probably brought it, like, three months ago, because, like, you know, like, I don't know, like, it was a movie, I wanted to watch the movie, you know, I got the movie for a reason, because I wanted to watch it, but just, like, you know, just, the, the, I, you know, it just kind of got, keep kind of pushed back, so, you know, I just didn't end up watching the movie, but, you know, right now, I'm kind of in a point where, like, you know, I can watch this movie, so, you know, there's nothing, there's no other movies that I'm currently thinking about watching right now, like, there's only shows, so, well, hey, it's, it's finally Puss in Boots' turn, I can finally watch the movie, I mean, what I've heard, the movie's pretty good, so, um, of course, you know, um, I'm excited to see Jack, you know, I, you know, I, I've seen, you know, little clips and pieces here, but, you know, so, I'm excited to see some, the, the full scene, so, you know, that's gonna be interesting, um, and also, probably, hey, the, the, the first Puss in Boots movie that I watched. As I said, I don't know if I watched the original, so if, if I haven't watched the original, well, hey, this will be the first one. So, that's cool. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's about it, you know. I don't, I don't have much more to say about this, um, you know, uh, other than, you know, hey, it, it's in the style of Spider-Verse, you know. Everyone's been doing, <laughs> like, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie that did that as well. Everyone's been doing, every, all the, all 2D animation has been doing that, so, you know, that's, you know, I like it, you know, it looks good, um, I hope, like, every single movie doesn't start doing it, you know, like, like, it looks good, but it looks so great because of the first time Spider-Verse did it, it was a brand new concept that looked really cool, so, I like the movies in the style, but I, I hope people don't just start using the style and, like, using it, like, poorly. Spider-Man did it really good, I hope. Like, people don't just, like, think, okay, this style is good, we'll just use it, and then they just do it horribly, so, you know, really great style, I'm really excited to finally actually get to this movie, because I was, I, I wanted to watch it, I just, it just kept getting pushed back, so, you know, it's finally its turn, so, yeah, um, that's it, that, that's, that's finally it, so, yeah, um, yeah, uh, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, and goodbye.